Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you the unboxing of Neptunia Sandran Kagura Ninja Wars. I just realized that there's no verses in the logo, but anyways. So as usual, there's going to be a review with a proper unboxing, but I've got all the footage of the unboxing, so I'll show you here on the second channel. Basically, I'm going to just go through the video that I've recorded already here, so you'll hear me clicking and stuff and going through the video and then I'll comment on it and I'll just overlay the specific uh, stuff that is relevant. So this is once again um, something that IDS, uh, Idea Factory sent me. It took a while because of uh, production delays to get here. As of today it actually just re uh, showed up a week ago and it came in a package in three different parts. So inside the box there were uh, bubble wrapped like this. You can see there's two cards here. One is from uh, a thing that they messed up with the Mary Skelter order. If you remember, I got two of the same cards um, that was rectified here. So, yep, thank you very much for doing that here. Uh, let's uh, get everything unboxed. I say that as if I'm doing that. <laughs> there we go. So, there's the game itself, which is... Yeah, it looks all right. I do have to say, I think it looks just a bit... Um, I don't know. The background almost looks completely white. But you can see there's a pattern right between uh, between uh, Neptune and Asuka there. But it just, you know, just with a quick glance, it does look pure white. So if they kind of did a bit more of a pattern or maybe they if they cranked up the opacity just a little bit, I think the background would just, I think it would look better than just like this. Or maybe if it was just a different color, you know. But anyway, whatever, that's just how it is. It's quite interesting to see the two different art styles beside each other because they are done by different artists. I don't know if Tsunako is doing the art here, actually. And then the same artwork is used again on the inside there. Uh, the back's all right. I think it's laid out pretty well. You've got all the, you know, silly little copy in the bottom there. and But, you know, everything above that with, like, the screenshots. I think that looks pretty decent and, you know, big enough for what you can do with that amount of space. And on the inside there also, um, if you're wondering, hey, why is it the same? Well, it's not the same. There's actually just a little flap obscuring the cleavage there on the just the regular packaging. So the reverse cover art doesn't have that. So for maximum authenticity, it's best to swap that around and unleash, unleash the cleavage. <laughs> Here's the wall scroll which I think is quite interesting. It's definitely done by a different artist, that's for sure. They tried to mimic, you know, the old style. Oh, it escapes my mind what it's actually called. You know, that yeah, maybe like a woodblock print sort of thing, or maybe like a watercolor thing. I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, like that stuff that looks like, I was going to say like uh, the Great Wave of Kanagawa and stuff like that, you know, like Hokusai. But maybe perhaps this is a bit of an older thing because this is before... Woodprints? I'm not sure. Anyways, it's, um, I just can't quite remember right now, um, how that goes exactly. Uh, I don't know what to think because there is a poster that the Japanese version comes with. Maybe they were afraid, like, oh, maybe people wouldn't want to hang up that sort of stuff in the room because, you know, everybody's scared of anime boobies. Uh, but I do think there's some cool things about this wall scroll. Um, like, for example, the, uh, the doggoos being like, you know, like actual dogs or wolves or something like that. You know, some, you know, sort of canine creature. I think that's a, like a cool reference sort of thing. Unfortunately, when you do look quite close, the print looks a bit blurry on the canvas. So, or on the cloth or whatever it is. So it's not like super high quality, but if you're like, you know, a meter or more away, then you don't really notice it. And then we've got the case itself, with which I'm pretty sure is also like the Japanese version. Somebody did say this is hard to open, uh, this type of uh, case where there's like a little notch. And yes, I found that to be the case as well. It's not ideal. Um, it does, this is again one of those things where it's replicating the sort of lacquer style traditional art, you know, with the black lacquer and the gold leaf designs and all that. I think it's pretty cool, though. I do think that the whole grain looks a bit crummy. <laughs> you know, that gold border you see around here, for example, that just 
that pattern is a bit off. It's like, ugh. It just looks a little bit dirty and sandy rather than gold and sparkly, which is what it's trying to, you know, replicate there. It's a cool image on the front there. I quite like it. Uh, it's all purpley and dark with the moon. I like the shinobi outfits that the characters have there. You know, it's interesting to see this whole science fiction sort of look with the characters not existing here and it being, you know, more like traditional. Well, as traditional as these revealing outfits can be, I guess. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's not science fiction-y at all, so I think that's always quite interesting to see that with Neptunia characters. On the back here, it's the Senran Kagura characters, you know, uh, the leader of each group. And there's a different color scheme going on here with the with kind of like the gold sort of vignette at the bottom there versus the purple on the other side. And I guess this also kind of proves that this is mainly a Senran, oh sorry, a mainly a Neptunia game. Because it does seem like the Senran Kagura girls are mainly on the back, so... Yeah, anyways, it's... Idea Factory is the one that's also distributing it, right? So, you can already kind of tell this is mainly a NEP game. Here's what's inside, and this is quite interesting. See these little splotches here? I actually took some better footage of it. It looks like somebody tried to, like... I don't know, somebody did something with a marker by hand and tried to cover up, like, the little white edges of the paper that was like cut you know what I mean like you can you can see it there and it just looks ugly it's like why did they do that let me know if yours looks like that too it's very odd here's the other card the Anipa Shinobi card number 21 October 2021 the other one has the Nep girls on it so there you go there is the Steelbook, though I don't think... Steelbook's the trademark, isn't it? So this is like a steel game case. Not to step on any copyrights there. Or trademarks, rather. It does look quite good. I do like that they always show the brushed metal, and it does have like a little bit of a metallic sheen that appears in between characters or part of the background or whatever. I think it's quite well done. Again, here, <laughs> Nep characters on the front and on the back. We've got the Senran Kagura characters, so yeah, they are playing second fiddle, apparently, in all the packaging. What I also find interesting is that, okay, this holds the disc, and on the right there, of course, and then on the left there is a place to put the manual, which doesn't exist, so obviously they just cracked these out in molds, and then each one has a custom paint job, right? So whether it has a manual or not, it has these tabs for it. <laughs> And then underneath, we've got the soundtrack. There was a bit of damage on that little paper thing that held it in place. More artwork that looks familiar. See that background? I think if they had that as the background, it would look a little bit nicer on the game case. But anyways, maybe it would look too cluttered. You know, I'm just... I haven't actually tried it out myself and had a look. The map is on the CD as well. And then we've got characters again, the main characters there on... The left inside cover. I do like all this traditional Japanese design that Senran Kagura uses and that it's, you know, and I like that it's been used here. Of course that makes sense given the premise of the game. And then there's the art book, which honestly it's like, it's not too amazing. It is matte finished, or it has a matte finish, I mean. And then it's got the usual stuff, but it's not like super exciting, right? It's like, okay, there's the... You know, there's the characters, there's, uh, you know, but other than that, there's not really much going on. There isn't, you know, I don't know. It just feels very samey, samey compared to other art books I've seen over the years. I think art books really need to up their game to be special when it comes to most limited editions these days. They usually all go to, like, they fall back on character profiles and then just a little bit of, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe some sketches, here's some illustrations, and, and then they're done, right? So I think we can do a little bit more. But yeah, that basically concludes what the limited edition has. I'm going to go into more detail. Like right now, I have not listened to the soundtrack really, you know, in detail, for example. So I can't really comment on that. You'll hear about that in the actual game review. I think it does look good as a thing to present, though I do think that grainy 
sparkly look that doesn't look sparkly is kind of failing if you go up close. So that's really unfortunate. The amount of art, well, I do think the art's not really reused. Like, you know, the box has its own art, then so does the steel bookcase thing. Then also the game case, the art book. The only thing I see that's really reused, obviously, is the soundtrack, but that looks different enough because it got, uh, it's got black bars on the top and bottom, and it's got a different background, so it does differentiate itself. So, like, as a thing to look at, you know, just set up like this, I think it's pretty, you know, it's, it's decent. Though there are more exciting LEs to look through. I guess maybe I'm spoiled by the Mary Skelter finale one, because that just had... A lot going on plus that was a new franchise for me whereas uh, I've literally seen every single limited edition North American um, LE for Neptunia I mean I have every single one except for that one that has all the Steam games you know but that has items from other LEs which I do own and then of course Rebirth 1 which was super limited to 1000 but everything else I have have just looking over to my right I can see all of them in my shelf there so that's probably one of the reasons why you know i've seen something being reused or like a theme being reused somewhere before so it's like you know it's not super original <laughs> but one of the things it does have going for it is in terms of you know compared to other neptunia limited editions is that uh since it's like not it doesn't have a science fiction look you know it does stand out because of that because you don't have the hdd suits uh outfits or whatever you know you don't have the usual circuit board stuff electronic sort of references so it's, it's got that going for it there but yeah that's the limited edition of neptunia versus saturn kagura ninja wars let me know what you think um and also if you've got the limited edition yourself of this game uh, you know, if you have any comments on that, um, just or you know anything to say about it, I'd be interested hearing you know your take on this. If maybe there's something I've missed that I you know that's worth talking about there, or whatever it may be. So that's that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.